Hey guys, Brendan here from TAT. I was reading through the latest TAT magazine here and I was reading a good article by um, Sam and Jack, so page 20 of the current issue. And so it's anatomy of coil on plug waveforms. And I've got a car here today that is, I think, a really good example of exactly what they're talking about and where you would use this. So we'll take a look. So all it is is um, something quite common, a V6 Alloy Tech V Commodore, um, and it's got a misfire. Um, dead misfire on this one, so there is a check engine light up and there's a um, cylinder misfire code there. So like most modern cars, it, it's going to shut down the injector, um, so make sure you're aware of that. But it, you know, if we go start doing our test, we need to expect if we haven't cleared that code, then the injector won't be getting a, a command. Um, don't let that throw you off. Um, best thing to do is clear the code and then it will start controlling that injector again until it gets enough misfire counts and then it will shut it down again. But what I'm going to do is look first at the spark. Um, it feels like you know it's just a dead misfire, so hey, we can get to um, the coils easily on the scope with my, my um, probe. So let's go through them and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so what I've got here is the Pico Secondary Ignition um, Wand, if you like. Flexible tip on it so you can get in to places. Um, we're just going to run this over the coils and it's going to pick up the back EMF coming off them. It can be hit and miss as um, some coils are very well shielded. These VE ones, it, it seems to do reasonably well, so if I come down onto it... Okay, and we can see, so I'm on there and I'm picking up a trace for that one. What we're most concerned with is the burn time. So you'll see it's coming in and out, but that's just because we, you know, we've got a fairly well shielded coil. Um, but I can see that that's a, a very nice burn time. Now if I go over to the next one... And now on that one we can see it's it's trying to spark so it'll be getting a command but you can see those oscillations just after the initial um, I suppose major voltage point and you, those oscillations happen straight away so that's the ringing out of voltage that is remaining in the the coil and it hasn't been able to achieve a spark so there's absolutely no spark happening on that cylinder So looking at a good um, spark event here, what I'm going to do is drag across these cursors. So from the start of the spark event, roughly there, and drag it along to, this is our burn time here, so to the end here. And it's measured for me up here, but there's 2.13 milliseconds of burn time. So that's great. That's a, a great coil. It's, it's able to create, um, create a good spark and the spark lasts for approximately two milliseconds, which is great. And then we see it ringing out here um, at the end compared to our other one, which had zero burn time at all. Okay guys, so that was just a quick one with a dead misfire. Um, if you can power break it in the, in the um, bay, then you can go ahead and do that method as well. But also for a weaker coil, that's gonna show up, you know, if I'm able to go along and, and um, get a burn time that's much lower than the others, and that's giving me really good direction. And, and all I've done, you know, is taken a little antenna and put it over the top of everything. So it's, it's a really good place to get started. Granted, there's a, there's a lot of other ways to test for ignition. Um, one of my favorites when it's good access is just getting out this you know, $10 Toledo adjustable spark tester, wind it out. As long as I can get to say around the three or the four, which represents 30 to 40,000 kilovolts of secondary ignition, then I'm quite happy that that's, um, that's gonna make a good spark. Obviously, when you, you come up against V6s, V8s, and manifolds get in the way, you can't just be pulling stuff out like this, so it's good to have other methods to be able to fall back on. Um, take a look in our, on our website, tap.net.au. Um, I've got a review up here of this um, probe. Um, lots of other things on there as well, so if you're looking at buying any equipment, make sure you get on there. Um, it's, it's all really good stuff because it's all guys in the industry using it every day. So you'll see when I get on there, I'm not just spruiking this thing, like, to be honest. It, it can be quite hit and miss. It all comes down to how well shielded the coil is, and you'll find on some cars it's just not going to work. So that's stuff that you need to know before you go out and spend your money on that kind of stuff. Okay, so in the comments down below, um, how about you throw out what your best method of, of testing coils or ignition is. Um, I also like getting out an amp clamp and, and doing it that way, or you can look at primary ignition. What's everyone doing out there at the moment? Um, throw us a like for this video if you enjoyed it, and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks.